Just chuck in the fuck. I wanna check out these basketball scores real quick. Hey, are the fucking bulls legit or not? The center fielder, number one.
Play ball. The left fielder, number 78. Nope. Inside. No small ball. Now back, the first baseman, number 32. Shortstop, number eight. Batting the designated hitter, number 34. Off the plate. Oh, that's no. Deep. Number 58. Follow.
the first baseman, number three. The right fielder, number 13. Designated hitter, number 34. Second baseman, number six.
back, the center fielder, number one. Catcher, number 34. The second baseman, number 21. My God, the Walkers hit three home runs back to back to back to back, and they are up four to nothing. Sorry, gents, I had to take that call, unfortunately, but I am now back, and the Walkers have a four nothing lead on the Lumberjacks. And that's another ball in the left center field. Speedy, I think he's gonna get it. 
And he will for the third out, but Walker's three jacks all back to back to back. And they're up four to nothing, heading to the sixth. I hope everyone's having a good night. Sorry for the, sorry for the late and silent stream for a while. But we are here, and G Dream over one. Uh, Sasso back on the mound. Five innings, four Ks. <laughs> two and two to Sasso, or two and two to Dream. Sasso! Another K! Five strikeouts, and that'll bring up Buck Ball. Sasso, probably his best start so far of the season. And but Ball sends that through the right side of the infield as Pierre will pick it up and send it to the infield. And that'll bring up Chris Uzon. He's 0 for 1. Sasso trying to work through his second time through the order and swings in the miss. That's right. Offers up the 0 1. Bali tags Ball. Throw it the first. The Dragon special and the locker defense making a good play. Mostly Botley. Bottom of the sixth. Walker is up 4 0. Looking for more with Bobby Boucher leading it off. Pinocchio making his first appearance for the Lumberjacks after the trade from with the Unicorns. That ball hit up the middle, and that's going to be through. A leadoff single for the Walkers by Bobby Boucher. Did I bring up Bob Elf? The catcher, number 50. And one and two from Nokio. The pitch to Bob Elf. Fouls it away. Try three. A fantastic curveball from Nokio. Gets Elf looking. And we'll flip it back to the top of the order for G. Clues of Argoon. His fourth at bat. 0 for 3 so far. As a fastball misses upstairs. 1 0. Nokio finds the strike zone there. 1 1. Same spot, but just a little bit inside, 2-1. Morgoon offers at the 2-1 and sends it to the right field. Playable for Luzon, makes the throw As Boucher stays at first. Here is Ben Mimbali now. He's one for three with the single. Curveball's in the, in the zone. A strike. There goes the runner, throw from Callens. Not in time, Boucher has it stolen. The runner in scoring position for Bali fouls it off, stays alive. Double pitches play with for Nokio as another foul ball. And upstairs goes after the slider, pops it up, playable for Callens. He makes the grab and just a leadoff single for the Walkers, but not able to do anything with it. Back third of this ball game. Four nothing. Walkers of the Lumberjacks try to find some forward momentum and try to figure out Ty Sasso as they head into the third time through the lineup. Typically in baseball, and third time through the lineup is beneficial for the offense. As Speedy makes it beneficial for him as he sends one to the left field, bounces in front of Morgan, and it's a leadoff single for the Lumberjacks. As here is Denver Brainstorm. Bop, 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 bop. One and oh. Misses upstairs. Strikes at the top of the zone. Dangerous spot, but Tasso gets away with it. Checks on Speedy at first, but nothing doing. The pitch for Brainstorm. And a pitch out. But that's again, nothing doing. That's a strike. The two, the full count. Just waits on the curveball and gets through the thin field and that's first and second for the Lumberjacks as they are cooking here in the top of the seventh and here is Tank Tygo uh, First pitch curveball misses up so one and oh Another curveball misses generally the same spot so two and oh another curveball so three straight curveballs all miss up and Sasso in danger of losing him. And he loses him on four pitches. So base is loaded. 
No outs for Phil Barco Jr., the captain. And a big spot for the Lumberjacks. Lighter, oh, it's off the glove of Shaw. One run will at least score. And the Lumberjacks are on the board as Barco Jr. hits that hard enough where Kip Shaw Jr. Kip Shaw could not get corral it. And that'll be it for Ty Sasso. Don't close the book on him. All runners on base are tied to him. So in danger of his wonderful start being ruined as Woody Scott is trying to figure out this mess. He's got Callens one and two. Strike three, what an amazing pitch and the lawnmower has started. So Scottish, a ground ball away from getting out of this mess, but it's Flip Hecker. As a fastball misses inside. Fastball misses up and in, two and zero. Hecker hits it well in the center. Back is Boucher, he's at the track and it holds it. Runner will tag from second and third. And another run is added for the Lumberjacks as they cut the lead in half. From zero to four, from four nothing to four to two. Up the middle and one a hit by Gene Dream. Four to three and the Lumberjacks are right back into this game. And now it's Buck Ball. Takes a hack at the first pitch. He misses it. Scottish, the slider, finds the top of the zone. So the 2 2 from Scottish misses up. Full count. Runners will be on the move. And ball just pops it up. Dakota is under it. And that'll do it for the Lumberjacks. Walkers hold on to that lead, but the Lumberjacks. Score three, make it a 4-3 ball game. Very interesting, heading into the bottom of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch time, and here's Hart. He started the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back homers. Uh, his first two pitches misses, 2-0. Oh, that was a slider right down the middle, and Hart laid off. 3-1 to Hart. That's a strike, even though Callens mishandled it. Hart goes down for it, Hecker. The lefty third baseman makes the play. And one out for George Pierre. Well, if you're waking, wasting no time. Strike three, what a pitch from Nokio. The new screwball coming in handy. And Pierre is down on the strike. So here's Kip Shaw. Jacks could really use a clean inning from Nokia. 3-1 to Skip Shaw. Offers at the 3-1, but fouls it off. We'll do it at the 3-2. Pops it up. Parked under it is Hack Gene Dream. And that is to do it. What an inning from Nokia. A 1-2-3 inning. We're heading to the eighth. Lose on then the top of the lineup. Out in front of it is Luzon, one and two. Luzon hits it well, hitting to the wall, and it's gonna bang off the wall. Pierre plays it well, keeps Luzon at first, but a leadoff single for the Lumberjacks. And now it's Speedy Gonzalez. Tough man to get in a double play situation. It has to be hit just hard enough, so there's little time wasted in the release. That's gonna be, oh, that might drop. Bomber special, and it will be a bomber special. Finds the real estate in the left center. And it's first and second for Denver Brainstorm. A ball up, 2-0. Fastball in a dangerous spot, 2-1. Swing and a miss. Fooled on the curveball, or the changeup. Stays alive. Oh, holds up, full count, the pitch. And he will hold up on that one. Base is loaded once again. Again, no outs, and it's Tank Tygo. 
the pitch. Tygo pops it up. Will it stay? No, it won't. It gets into the seats. Looks like the lockers are willing to give up the run for the two outs. Two and one from Scottish. Tygo hits it well on the left. It will stay in the park. Morgoon makes the play. Throw to third. It's, oh, what? Not in time, but the run will score. Tie ball game. As now the play halfway for Phil Blanco Jr. I for sure thought he was out at third. And 3-0, and oh, they might just put Barco Jr. on. They will. Junior will get on, and it's Shelby Callens with bases loaded and one out. Four down at any base. Infield is halfway. Liner, Dakota makes the play. And now it's Flip Hecker. He's been clutch all season. Hacker gets under it. Kip Shaw makes the play and the Walkers keep it tied. But the Lumberjacks from four down have tied it. Ready to the bottom of the eighth. Churnley will lead it off for us. Hawkers really need this win. Churnley jumps on the first pitch but fouls it back. It's going to stay in play as Callens makes the play. So now it's Dakota. He's 0 for 3. Getting the start with the righty on the mound, starting. Down the line, fair! Passes the glove, G Dream. Dakota is going to add a second. Lose on the throw, not in time. And Dakota, a one out double. Here is Bobby Boucher now. Boucher down the line, but it's going to drift foul. Change up strike. The pitch for Nokio. That ball to the right side. We'll get the runner over, however, but second out is made. And now it's up to Bob Elf. The number nine hitter for the one. No, it will not be Bob Elf. Eddie Ortiz will come into bat. The old man Ortiz. Just a little dribbler. And the runner is wasted. 79, we're landing to the ninth. Walkers. Lumberjacks, an exciting one here. Ortiz will stay in the game at catcher. To lose a little bit of defense, but get this big bat. Did not come through, however, in that one. Scott is still out there on the mound at 43 pitches. The 2 1 is sending to left. Morgoon has a playable. They don't make the grab. One for three, steps in, Buck Ball. Buck Ball, first pitch, sends to Dakota. Playable for him, he makes the play. Two outs, nobody on for Chris Luzon. The right fielder for the Lumberjacks. Luzon, that's gonna get down and be a single. So a two out base runner for the Lumberjacks, as now will be their powerful top of the lineup in Speedy Gonzalez. A nice well-placed ball in the gap might bring in that run. Luzon has decent speed. Offers at the 0-1, but fouls it off. 0-2. Too speedy. Ground ball. Botley. Throw to first. Not in time. Gonzalez speeds it out. First and second. What an effort from Speedy. Curveball finds his own. Off the plate. That's going to be a walk. And here comes Tank Tygo. Two outs. Base is loaded. Scottish is in there for some reason. Tygo hits it high. He hits it deep. He hits it well. And it's a grand slam for Tank Tygo. Eight to four. As the Lumberjacks all of a sudden 
have themselves a four-run lead. Number eight. Eight unanswered from the Lumberjacks. That's it for Scottish. Vail Tamayo will come into pitch. Check on the runner. Versus Zank and Flip Hecker. Full tapper. Ortiz throws on the first in time. But Tank Tygo. A grand slam into center field, eight to four, as the Lumberjacks have scored eight unanswered runs. And now the Walkers have a four run deficit, and we're at the bottom of the ninth. Morgoon, it's a hard, but Dream plays it well, and that's the first out. Here comes Botley. Pete has pitched beautifully. Four innings, just one run, three hits, two Ks. He has done his job. Ball that gets past the diving Hecker. Here's Gerard. The shortstop number two. D. Oh, the one two plays off. Stays the line, fouls it off, two and two. Down the line, foul! That ball, through the center, through the middle of the diamond. And it's first and second for the Walkers. As now is George Pierre. A slider misses inside. Don't want to know. Pierre goes outside for that one. Hits it weakly to right. Lose on to throw to third. Not in time. Botley way too fast. And now the Walkers are down to the final out. And it's Kip Shaw. Hits the dirt. Want to know. That ball is hit well in the right, but it's going to drift foul. It had the height and the distance. Full count. Runner at first will be going. Ground ball to Barco in the first. In time, and the Walkers lose as they take a costly loss. Going to five and five, Lumberjacks. Will improve to eight and one on the season. After score eight unanswered in the final three innings. Gonzalez, three for five. Tiger with that big grand slam. Gerhardt went three for four with the home run. Pierre and Shaw also had home runs as well. Scottish gets the loss. Nokio pitches well and gets the win. As Sasso, six, in, six innings, three runs, gets another decision. He pitched beautifully. As Tank Taigo is your player of the game. A comeback for the Lumberjacks indeed. We're going to go quickly in this game because like I said, this is a speed run. 
I forgot who was playing. Oh yeah, Overdress. Versus Gatchas. Dash versus the Gauchos. Oh, we're gonna stay at Motor Yard? That's disappointing. <laughs> we're gonna stay at Motor Yard for some reason. Uh, very disappointing. Let's see. Let me get the pitching matchup. It's gonna be near Bamber versus Kochuk. Two aces on the bound. Overdraft. This is the lineup. Sickly, Ducato, Astaire. Sardi, Amos, League, Amia, Wahlberger, Bamber, 8-6, and I don't think Marge has done anything. No. No. Okay. So quickly back to Motor Yard as they clean up the base or they clean up the mess. Gauchos coming this game, winning there five of their last six games. Currently sitting at five and six on the season. No, actually six and six on the season. Yeah, six and six on the season. Overdrafts at five and five. So big games for both teams. Overdrafts. This game could really shake up the heroic playoff race. As here's Duke Cattell. Three and up from Kate Six. That's finally a strike. Duke Cattell. Howls it off, so worked it back to three and two. The pitch to Duke Cattell. Breaks her bat, but it stays foul. And takes the vo Wow, what a take. So the back to back walks to start at the game, and already a runner in score position for Mookie Astaire. Grounder, Billups to one, throw on the first in time, and it's a dragon special, a big one for K6. And here's Everett Sardi. Sardi will send it through the center field, and overdrafts are on the board early, one to nothing. RBI single from Everett Sardi, and here is Daniel Winkler. Winkler down the line, that's gonna stay fair. Sardi is running through the base pass, he's gonna round third, heading for home. No throw, and Daniel Winkler, an RBI double, and it's 2 0 now. And here's Carlos Ramos trying to keep the line going, moving. That's a strike. One and two. Popped up. Noah Walker makes the play. Hey, dude. I lost to the Skulls. I am still angry about that. These last three games should be cakewalks for the Stingers, but we're probably going to lose to the Angels and then beat the Skulls to, like, back our way into the playoffs even though as Amiya makes a fantastic play at first even though we should have the division but no you gotta make everything hard here's Samir Tailwind round ball Ramos the lefty shortstop makes the play As here's Athena Hex. How do you think I feel? That's a strike three and Hex. 
A one, two, three inning for Neil Bamber. Lee Gamia Wahlberger, do up. No, I know that my team though absolutely collapsed the last two games. Watt makes the play. Here's the Mia. No pipe. That's inside. Craig. Craig. Two and two from K6. Amia goes up for that one. Watt gets it on the one hop. Really playable for a while. What a play from him. A nice second baseman. The future of the Gauchos. And here's Joseph Wahlberger. Grounder. Watt can't make that one. As Wahlberger is on. And that'll bring up Libby Sickley. She earned herself a walk and then later scored. Break. Backhanded by Banger and just a hit for the overdrafts in the second. Kate Six putting up a zero. Banger, Cole, and Billups do up for the Gauchos. Went down for that one. It came up and popped it up into left center. Looks like Sickley's going to take it. As one out for Delanier Cullen. Two and one. And it's gonna miss inside, so Colin gets himself a walk. First base runner for the Gauchos on the night. And here's Sopapila Billups. Slider looked at for a strike. Billups gonna hit it right to Ramos. Goes to second. Coteau back to first, and there's a dragon special. Right into the third, Duke Coteau, Astaire, Sardi, do up for the overdrafts. Now batting the second baseman, number 35. Popped up. Walker can't make the play. Liner, Phillips is there to grab it. One out from Mookie Astaire. Number 14. Oh, and two. A stare, free swinging up there. A stare hits this pretty well on the left. Back up on it is Biscuit. Catches it at the wall. Well played. And here is Everett Sardi. That's gonna be a grounder. Weird hop for Billis. Readjusts, plays it well, and it's one, two, three, and for Kate Six, settling in a little bit now. Noah Walker, J. Watt, Dion, do up. Now battle, the catcher, number 24. Break. Ball inside. And strike three. Oh, did Bamber get hurt? Oh, no, Bamber has elbow pain. He is out for the season at least. And I think if the overdrafts make the playoffs, he's out for the first series. Oh, no, he's still in there though. That's it for Bamber. Mason Nuts, the overdraft legend, will come in. That's down. Ball low. That's down. 
Ball four. Take your base. Now batting the left fielder number three. Never seen the elbow PC in the life. Run a second. Not in time. Stolen. And biscuit. Trying to get that runner in. She takes a hack. 0 2. Breaks her bat. I don't think this is going to get. Oh, Mia not able to get there. So you're going to miss. And nuts. Cuts her down. Now batting the designated hitter, number zero. Pops it up. The short spot, number 22. Off the plate. Here's Carlos Ramos. Great. Great. No. Up the middle, and Ramos has himself a hit. Here is Bush League. But a Dragon Special ends the inning. Sorry, I'm distracted a little bit. Now back, the designated hitter, number 26. Break! That's inside. Ball inside. That ball hit the left center. Under is sickly. Now ball. The third base number two. Banger hits this one in the right center. It's hit pretty well. It's at the wall. And it's gone. Brutus Banger with a solo shot. Makes the play. Now batting the catcher, number 44. Now batting the center fielder, number 30. That ball is hit pretty well in the left center. It's tracking. It hits the top of the wall. It's a two-run shot. Off the top of the wall. 407 for Libby Sickly. And it's four to one overdrafts. Number 35. That's outside. That's inside. Inside. 
Two outs. Four to one overdrafts. Grounder. Hex. And that'll do it. Sickly hit the two run shot. And we're halfway home as the overdrafts have a 4 1 ball, 4 1 lead. First and second for Jay Watt. Ball inside. That's down. Ball four. Take the base. Now batting the center fielder. Number five. Break. Ball's in the gap. Bases, who's bases loaded? That's gonna get down. One run will score. Two runs will score. Clearing the bases, and it's a tie ball game. Miranda Biscuit. As the Gauchos have tied it up. And a walk to tailwind, so first and third. Now batting, the third now pitching. Was one out, that's it for nuts. The magic wasn't there tonight. Dino Gregory will come in to pitch. Inside. Straight. Oh, the second. Athena Hex is there. There goes. She goes to third. She steals third. Brutus Banger. That gets through. A bummer special if I've ever seen one. And the Gauchos, another run. There goes Banger. He's safe at second. They're just running all over Wahlberger. That ball gets through. Banger's gonna come home. Throw from Sardi. He has a new arm, and it's seven to four. As soon as Marge leaves, the Gauchos come back. Number 
Rounder League finally ends the inning. The Gauchos put up a six spot on the overdrafts. And it's seven to four now. There was a chat earlier uh, that showed it. Play here, I got you. Strike three. Now batting for shortstop number twenty-two. Here's Ramos. That's down. Strike. Up the middle, or almost has himself another hit. Now batting, the third baseman, number 47. Strike! Strike! Dang, and a miss! And League is a down on strikes. What Neon, or what Dion and Biscuit? Full count. Watt well, gets into that one. That's going to probably stay in foul territory. It's a lock, and now I have her on first. Now back, the left fielder, number three. That's inside. Okay, we're on the biscuit. We have that basis clearing triple. This one's gonna get down. Runner's gonna head to third. Throw from a stair, not in time. First and third, one out for Samir Tillman. That's it for Gregory Tostada is gonna come in. No pipe. Up to Walmart. Finger hits it in the left center. 
Dude, Marsh thought they lost by like two outs into the first inning. Are you kidding me? And they're winning nine to four. Now batting the first baseman, number forty-five. Grounder, Amia into center field. Now batting the catcher, number forty-four. Off the blue walker, here you go the first, not in that there. That's inside. That ball is crushed in the center field. Looking up at it, off the wall. Wahlberger, an RBI double, and it's going at nine to five. Now batting, the center fielder. Now batting, Honestly, dude. 24. Well, Tani will come in to hit for basically in response. Jake Carter coming in to pitch. Jake Carter gets hit off. Wahlberger is going to stay at third with no speed. Oh, and Walker can't mishandles it, but the runners will stay. Do you can tell first and third no outs Strike. Ball inside. Two and two Just stays alive Grounder oh what Bam Banger can't make the I thought he did he didn't backhand it wow I thought that was an easy Dragon special, but it's a singles nine to six and Mookie is there with no outs Grounder Billis knocks it down, but it's gonna be an infield single base is loaded For Everett Sardi with no outs Grounder, Hex, tried to get the tag, wasn't able to, but goes to first to get the out. One out and nine to seven for Winkler. Two curveballs in the outside corner, both hit. Oh, 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 I thought it was a strike. Grounder, Billups is gonna go to first and another run scores nine to eight. As the overdrafts have come all the way back. Liner and Juan makes the play, keeping the Gaucho lead intact. But the overdrafts not done yet. Four runs. To the bottom of the seventh we go, nine to eight. Brotani's going to stay in at center field. I don't know if that's the move. That ball. Field it by Ramos to run the first in time. Ramos, a fantastic play. Now we got Phillips. The 1 0 is sending the left. Sardi is under it, making the out. Here's Everett or Noah Walker. That ball is through the right side. A stare comes up with it. And I'll bring up Jay Watt. The second baseman, number 10. Strike. There goes Walker. Throw from Wahlberger. Not in time. Strike. Oh, and two to Watt. A pitch out for some reason. Another, they're just gonna put him on? You had him 0-2! You had him 0-2! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you had him 0-2! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I love 
this game. <laughs> you had him on too, and you decided to intentional walk him. The power of tough out gets a tough. <laughs> oh shit. Officially been laid in for the playoffs. <laughs> if only. <laughs> I think Redding just officially just chose to what, what, to be a new a manager for the expansion team next year. <laughs> I condolences, dude. Number 31. Out of 02, 98, and now it's 12 to 8. I really don't want the Gauchos to win this. Hey, dude, you're going to the expansion team. I don't blame you, dude. The overdrafts are fucked. <laughs> oh my goodness. You had him 0-2. You know, the culture is really good. Bro, there has to be a side bet. Donut's right. There has to be a side bet. Has to be a side bet. We need to do an investigation on this. Or sorry, Robot's right. Not Donut. Robot's right. There has to be a side bet. Has to be a side bet. There is no flipping way that <laughs> I really can't believe they had J1 O2 and then he gets tough out and they intentional walk him. Here's Wahlberger. He's three for three though. <laughs> That's so funny. Up to now down, the center fielder, number twenty four. I have never seen that happen. Strike. Can somebody clip that by the way? That's inside. Strike. That's inside. Another infield fly. Now batting the second baseman, number 35. Great. Up high. Here's your good job. Up the middle, and that's going to be a run. Nine to twelve. Now batting, the right field, Here's the stair. Number fourteen. <sighs> no. That's inside. That has to be some of the funniest shit I've ever watched in this game. That ball is ripped in the center field. Off the wall, no way, no freaking way. It's 11 to 12. <laughs> now batting the left fielder, number 17. What is this game, dude? <laughs> if Sardine, if Sardine, uh, if Sardine gets this, I'm Villa takes the play. I was gonna say, if Sardine gets a gets the run in, I'm walking away and just letting you guys watch this in silence. This 
so the overdrafts, I'm gonna call them the ultimate ball tease. Like legit, this team just like legit just. Uh, I I could I can't tell you but like I don't know. Popped up. I don't see the clip. Phillips to short, Ramos. Walker. That's not a ball, but it's a walk. A four pitch walk for Jay Watt now. Remember last time, he was down 0-2. Dude, if they do it again, I'll cry. I will cry. Imagine if they walked him. Imagine, imagine. That's a walk. But imagine if they intentionally walked him. So first and second for Neon Dion. Neon Dion! Slide by ZRD, but he can't make the play. One run will score and it's an important insurance run for the Gauchos. Balls hit well in the right. The stare makes the play. <laughs> oh shit! That was so funny. Here's Winkler. If Ramos hits a home run, I'm done. What is this game? Billups on the first. Yeah, it's a lot of runs. Jesse Batch isn't coming from Bristol. It's a lot of runs. It's too bad that uh, they also scored 13. Up the gun will come into pitch. Fucking way. Ball four, take your base. First and second for I believe Wahlberger. And he's three for four with the double and two singles. Oh my god, Octagon find the strike zone. Finally find the strike zone. Octagon is all over the place. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Bases loaded for Brotani. I am crying right now. Holy shit. 
Octagon has come in in lock three. Bertani pops it up. He shouts. The first baseman, number 35. He jumped! Come on, what? And the Gachos win! <laughs> Bro, <laughs> if the overdrafts are <laughs> just, just a kick in the balls to their fans. <laughs> What a crazy game, man. Look at that. I'm not even gonna... I, I'm done, bro. I'm too tired for this. <laughs> oh my god, what a game. Oh my god. Just look at this mess. Look at this mess. Eight six gets a win somehow. Mason Young gets a loss. Just just look at all this mess. And Miranda, this gets your arm here. Play it again. Manny, I was rooting for you too, man. This is so hilarious. Yo, can I get that clip though? Can I get that clip though? So that'll do it for us. And what was a crazy second game. The Gauchos won 13 to 12. But there was a lot in there. There was a there was a ball that was thrown in left field that uh Miranda Biscuit was able to score from second. Um, there was also a... There was also j being down 0-2, but then getting intentionally walked because of tough out. And the Gauchos lose... Or the Gauchos barely winning, and the Overtrack's coming back, but still losing 13-12. What a game! But uh, that'll do it for me. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next stream. Because, uh, yeah, that was fun. Have a good night.